So we found a new survival game. Let's jump in. See if it's any good. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and survival fountain of youth is the game. And in today's episode, we're going to jump into this game starting from a new. Now, there's quite a bit of an intro here, and I'll tell you why once we get past it. Let's go. This story is inspired by real events. According to historic records, on March 4th, 1513, three ships sailed from Puerto Rico. They were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer Juan Ponce de Leon. The goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary Fountain of Youth. Love that name. It all began in Puerto Rico when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to the chief Gaibana in a war against other tribes. The Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people, a legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini is the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will enjoy long years of health and youth. The chief also gave him an old map covered with inscriptions in an ancient language. The map showed an uncharted group of islands. The location to search was clear, but the inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. Mm. The captain believed in the legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors of the new and old worlds volunteered to join his adventure. A total of three ships sailed off. The Santiago, the Santa Maria, and the San Cristobal. Ponce de Leon was sure that the ancient map would lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The voyage to the islands took an entire month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. They were the islands from the map. The expedition was just one day from its goal. Master, master, wake up. Please get ready for morning assembly. Okay. Here we are in the game. We played some of this on the live stream to get a feel for it. But we're starting a new series on YouTube. New goal, preparing for the council. Hey, man. You need a CPAP machine or something, bro. Okay, well. Let's get through here. We are in the bowels of our ship. The Santine de Leon. <laughs> or the Chris Christico. I can't remember the name of it. I'm terrible with names as is. Especially weird ones. Everybody's just snoozing, you know? Alright, let's go to the bow of the ship. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, so check this out. Fight the animal. You don't have to tell me how to fight, sir. I already know. See that? You just poke him to death. Yeah, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Get off me. Come on, rascal. That's how you handle a mad squirrel. Okay, cool. Now, we got to take the map. Where is that map? Hey, shut up. Here it is. Don't stab it. Take it. Added captain's map. We might have to move to the other side for this. Let's go to the cabin's chamber. All right. Looking good. What the hell is that? Okay, grab the flint. We lit the lamp. Check the expedition logbook. 
Okay, we got some reading. Highlighted entries, May 17th, 1513 A.D. Whoa. The crew of the Santa Maria is on strike again. This time, the team did not agree with the captain's decision to half their weekly portion of rum. The head of the expedition, Ponce de Leon, had to cross from our ship, the Santiago, to the Santa Maria to calm the crew once again. May 24th, 1513. We have finally reached the island. The scientists have not yet fully deciphered the ancient map, so we do not know which island we are looking for. Therefore, the captain ordered us to land on each island to look for traces of the Fountain of Youth. May 28th. Today, we landed on another island. There was no Fountain of Youth there either. We found a second unusual flask with ancient symbols on it. The flask was delivered abroad the Santiago. It looks exactly like the one we found a week earlier on another island. Captain Ponce de Leon was very interested in these artifacts. We also picked up some strange little beast. It looked like a squirrel. It was very angry. We locked him up in a cage on deck. May 29th. At night, one of the expedition ships, the San Cristobal, was ripped off the anchor and carried away by the current. Apparently, the crew underestimated the strength of this new current and did not prepare properly. We pray for favorable wind uh, for our comrades so that they can catch up to us soon as possible. As soon as possible. June 2nd. We found another island. <laughs> June 2nd. We found another island. It is big enough. So Ponce gave it a name. Island of Hope. On a cursory... I, I think I'm saying that right. On a cursory examination from the ship, the captain noticed an interesting grotto on the island. He ordered the cartographer to sketch it and study it when looking around. They decided to schedule the landing for the next morning. In the meantime, we are ordered to move away from the coast so that the missing San Cristobal could see us in case it catches up with us today. Some days I can read, some days I can't. Today's kind of like a half and half day. Okay, place the map on the stand. Here it is. There we go. Study it. Yep, we need to go here. Oh. Oh. Oh, somebody's partying way too hard. This is kind of like a, a plane wreck for a sea survival game. We've been through many of those. All right, bro, wake up. New goal, surviving the shipwreck. Go to the grotto. Plan. Okay, here we go. Where is it at? Got it. Ancient artifact note. We're going to read even though the ship's on fire. We found numerous traces of the native culture on the island we explored. Of special practical and invest are the strange orient ornate bottles with unusual liquid inside. We found two absolutely, absolutely identical bottles on two different islands. Both were filled with water. Out of curiosity, I drank the water from the bottles. I was surprisingly fresh, and it was surprisingly fresh and delicious. Within two days, all my old scars began to heal, and I started feeling years younger, stronger, and healthier. I cannot stop thinking about this water. Perhaps these bottles are somehow connected to the fountain of youth. What if this is the living water of the Cayapana told me about? Just in case, I will leave one bottle on my chest. Captain Juan Ponce de Leon. Okay, ship's on fire. That's fantastic. Take the grotto plan from the table. Okay, here is the grotto on the island. Now, well, let's check the chest. What do we need? We definitely need a backpack. So we're going to take a backpack and an iron spear. It looks like it's almost broken. Do any of these have better health? They do not. All right, done. Let's get the hell out the window. We picked up a backpack. Why couldn't we pick everything else up? Why did he jump out of the ship the like that? Came out of nowhere. None of us were ready for it. Strong winds and giant waves blew up in a split second and crashed into the ship. The sails were torn apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. The sailors jumped from their bunks and tried to save the ship. But it was too late. 
I came to my senses on the sandy shore, my memories were gone. I could not even remember my name. But I was alive, and hoped that at least one of my fellow crew members had also escaped. Excellent. All right. And here we are. Now, when we were playing this, dude, I was extremely frustrated trying to figure this game out. But I think I got a good grasp on it. And now we have a spear. First things first, food. This is one of those games where you don't want to stay in one place for a long amount of time. For certain reasons. I tried to kind of, you know, go to my defaults on survival games and establish a place on the map. It did not work out well. Because once you diminish all of your resources in that current area or in the given area, that's it. That is it. It takes weeks for everything to grow back. What we need to focus on is food. Oh, that's right. We need a tool to do this. I thought we had... Oh, yeah, man. We <laughs> Okay, we need to build an axe. First order of business. Now, we've got something over there in the corner, which I will move. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the right-hand side. That way you guys can see all of my stats. It says, craft green coconut opened. We probably can't do that either. Let's go to crafting. Oh, we can. Uh, excellent. There we go. Now we can eat from Mother Nature. There we go. Harvest a small stick. That's pretty easy to do. Should be a stick tree right there. It does a good job of helping you out in the beginning. And like I said, we did not get far at all on this game. So chill out. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take it all. Now, as you can see, anytime you harvest or do anything, it takes up a lot of time. And that's what you got to be careful of is time. Okay, harvest the stone. Stone's up here. Okay, let's harvest. Let's do them all. How long is that going to take? Oh, my God. One hour and 20 minutes. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get it over with. Weather affects your health. We know that. Okay, now it's time to create a stone axe, which also takes time. Let's go down to the axes right there. One hour. So you can see how time is just passing by really quickly. All right, now it's time to hunt a crab. So let's go back to the beach. Let's get to stabbing. I could actually throw this spear, so it shouldn't be that hard. When you craft a stick spear and throw it, it curves in midair, and it sucks so bad. There's a crab. So we got to crouch so that we don't spook it. Get up close to it. And it, it, that one curves too. I don't know if you guys saw that, but yeah. Let's go for this crab. The spear throwing in this game is ridiculous. Yes! Second try, baby. Okay. Harvest a long stick, which is very strange because you have to get a long stick from a different tree type. Look, don't ask. Ooh. <laughs> now we got two crabs. Save that for later. So a lot of time has passed. You hear that buzzing. That's a mosquito. You don't want to get bit by those either. I must say, this is easily the hardest survival game that I've ever started out on. Okay. How long is that going to take? 15 minutes. Not bad. Okay. Craft a wooden spear. Let's do it. Crafting. 40 minutes to craft a spear. Okay, gather five narrow leaves. Easy enough. And while we're at it, we'll get some coconuts from the coconut tree. And we still don't have the required tools to do it. We need we need a cutting. So you know what? We need a, a rock knife kniff. 30 minutes to craft that. Now let's get them. There we go. 20 minutes to gather those. And as you can see, we are already hungry. Narrow leaves. We need five of them. Twenty minutes. Okay, there's coconut on the ground. We'll take that. 
Okay, build a primitive bed of leaves. I don't know why it has us do this, because we can't stay here. There we go. Put it down. Build. Okay, sleep six hours or more. Let's sleep. We just slept 13 hours. Now we are a little hungry. It's morning time, which is good. Now it's time to build a campfire. Literally what you've seen me do took me like an hour and a half. Why? Because I'm stupid. Okay. We need more small sticks. We actually need one. Shouldn't be too hard of a task. Ooh, dates. Need those. That's good eats right there. We got to watch out for snakes, other animals. Oh, yeah, that's right. Restored in 15 days. Let's try this tree. See what I mean? 15 days to restore one stick. One stick. So this game forces you to move around the map. You can't stay in one place until you start actually farming and growing your own stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's build. Awesome. Craft a spindle fire starter. This is pretty easy. 40 minutes. There we go. Looks like we're getting a little hungry. Now we're going to cook some food on the campfire. So what we got to do, go to crafting. Okay, it takes 20 minutes. Did our cutter already break? No, 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 no. Okay, so we've got to light the fire first. I forgot about that. Ignite. You have a 20%... Oh! 20% chance of that lighting every time, which is stupid. There we go. Now we can cook some meat. Excellent. And we've got two of them, so let's cook two of them. 20 minutes apiece. Harvest two wide leaves. Wide leaves? Ah, okay. Is there anything closer? I guess not. All right, let's go out here. We're getting a little hungry. Least we have our spear. Starting with the spear is, yeah, I think it's the way to go. There we go. Craft a steamed leaf bandage. What do we need? Well, we've got what it takes. I think we got to do that on the fire. Steamed, that's right. We've got we've to cook it. Okay. Bandage. Let's craft. Excellent. Find liana. Okay, there's the liana tree. I think that's how you say it. And what that is, is it's basically vine that you turn into rope. Liana. Yeah. Now we got to be careful up here. I'm pretty sure there's a damn snake somewhere. There are snakes up here for sure. You just got to move slow. And there's also those mad squirrel things. Yep, I hear a snake. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Grab all of this. That's going to take 11 minutes. Where is that snake at? I hear it. There he is. Now, you cannot get close to these things. They are deadly. That's how you take care of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's harvest this if we can. Uh, snake tail. I'll take it. All right. Here it is. Let's go ahead and get 10 of this vine. 50 minutes. And now we can craft some rope. Ooh. Restored in 19 days. My God. This game is brutal. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We need some rope. Let's go to crafting. That's a belt. There's the rope. Awesome. And now we need some charcoal. I think we've got charcoal. Do we not? Guess not. We're pretty damn full. Let's eat. I'm going to go ahead and eat all of that. Uh, let's go ahead and craft some more coconuts. There we go. We got drink and food. 
what I'm talking about. Yeah. Got our thirst all the way up. Almost. Okay, let's get some charcoal. What the hell's that sound? Charcoal. Charcoal, charcoal. I think we get that from the fire. I'm almost... Well, almost positive. How the hell do we get charcoal? Damn it, I done forgot. We've got, I think... Oh, mapping charcoal. That's right, we've got two. We need to burn sticks to get that. Okay, so now we need to craft it. Let's go to crafting. Still kind of messing up here. Let's get away from that mosquito. Maybe we're supposed to craft it from the fire? Still learning the game. Okay, there we go. It says, these are the blueprints, and I think we need a stick to do this. I think we need to use a stick to make mapping charcoal. All right, let's go grab a stick. There we go. We're going to go ahead and make two because we need one later. Sun's already going down, bro. Oh, God. After crafting a lot and gathering a lot, the sun just kind of dies immediately. That's what was throwing me off the first time I played this game. But once you get everything crafted, you're pretty good. Okay, now we've got a ladder. Let's go up. High atop. The bungalow tree. Okay. So we get up here. We use our charcoal. Ooh, we can also take these eggs. And these feathers. And these worms. Yes, sir. Okay. Now what we need to do is pull out the map and map. Use one charcoal. Okay, I think we need to get higher. Maybe like right here. All right, let's try that. It's too dark. Oh, no. No. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. So you can't. Oh, God. You can't do that during the nighttime. Learn something new every day. Let's go sleep, I guess. Gee whiz. I'm telling you right now, this game does not play. But yeah, everything that you guys have seen so far took me an entire live stream to figure out. I know that seems stupid because I am stupid. All right, let's sleep nine hours. There we go. Morning time, baby. Our... Food and water is okay. It's good enough. We're going to find the fountain of youth. We're going to get rid of all these aches and pains our bodies feel on a daily basis, being 40 years old. We're going to feel young again. We're going to wake up in the morning and pee for like five minutes straight. I miss that. Or wake up in the morning bricked up. Like the good old days. All right, man. Let's map it out. Now we map. Yeah. So this is one area of the map. If you zoom out, you can see there's a lot of map there. Okay. Find the survivors. Now we have the map. We completed the tutorial. And we know where the grotto is. Past sailors came to this island and made a grotto out of a cave. Or is the cave called a grotto? I don't know. 
it's raining. One thing I hate about this game is that when it rains, you don't know if it's like the sun's going down or coming up. It's really strange. And jumping in this game is absolutely terrible. <clears throat> let's see how let's see his vert dog. Look at that. Oh, it's terrible. Somewhere in here. I thought it was like right here, but I guess not. While we're moving, we need to gather some stuff. Not that. Palms. Yes, there we go. Coconuts. You got to stay stocked up on coconuts or you're screwed. You got to keep an eye out for dates. Here it is, baby. The grotto. Oh, God. Scorpions. I forgot. Stupid ass scorpions are everywhere in here. It's a little unfair. Kind of reminds me a bit of Star Sand. Which at some point this year, we will replay. All right, we've got some sticks. A lot of sticks. Let's ignite this fire. We need to have another fire starter. There we go, 40 minutes. Let's add our fuel. There we go, now we can see. Oh. Got us a nice mural. The map, Ponce de Leon, marked the approximate location of two water sources on the map. The coastal grotto and the place where he lost his spyglass. The captain says the spyglass remains in the place where fireflies are visible at night. Location, Island of Hope. So here's the grotto. Up here is about where we started, somewhere like right here. So we got to go all the way around the map and find the spyglass. And here is an area with drinking water kind of give us an indication but we are going to follow the coast we're going to stop at certain places on the way and let's uh let's gather up well captain juan ponce de leon also survived the shipwreck sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening he located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. Yeah, baby. Ponce's letter. To anyone who reads this, I am Ponce, Duan Ponce de Leon head of the expedition studying these islands. I barely survived the shipwreck and arrived here on a lifeboat. I am leaving this note in case someone on the crew also survived. I spent a few days investigating this island. I am leaving a rough map of my notes about the island here in this grotto. The island is uninhabit uninhabitable, but is full of wild birds and animals, so be careful. I found ruins and other traces of ancient civilization. This morning, I was exploring a small island in the bay to the east and heard distant cannon fire. This must be a signal from one of our ships. Sounds like it's close to the island. My rescue boat is still intact, so I will go there immediately and look for survivors. P.S. Just before sailing, I noticed that I forgot my spyglass at the place where I heard the cannon fire. You can look for it. It is in a conspicuous place with many fireflies. If you find it, I recommend you take a good look around in clear weather before you go after me. The ancient observatory at the top of the mountain would be a perfect place to do this. It is easy to find. The white symbol above, it is visible from almost anywhere. Okay. Looks like we got living water potion. Note about living water. I'm leaving this bottle of living water so that the person who finds it can restore their health if they are shipwrecked. Good luck to you, friend. That's me. I'm the friend. I feel popular. Captain loves me. A piece of Jatapa gum. Jabatapaba gum. 
So if we go through this cave on the other side, it basically leads to where we were. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, but we're going to leave it behind. There's a lot of scorpions that way. Uh, we can disassemble that, but you don't really get nothing from it. Not a whole lot of stuff. Got some yeggs here. No, those are puffball mushrooms. I still haven't figured out what we do with those. So we found the spyglass, and that's as far as we got. So that's what we'll do. We'll go get the spyglass, then we'll carry on a little bit. See how far we make it. Oh, we are encrimbered. We need to eat anyway. Let's dig in. Hey, we need a lot more of those, these coconuts. A lot more ripe coconuts. I think that fills up our hunger while the other ones fill up our thirst. Ah, okay. Looking good. Yeah, we definitely need more inventory space for sure. Now, this is uh, quite a long run around the island. Ah, shut up. And we are going to stick to the beach. I don't know what you do with shells. Those squirrels are vicious, dude. Ocean looks so good. I don't want to go out there, though. There is a fresh water hole that we have to find. And then someplace on the top of the mountain where we have to use the spyglass. But again, I haven't made it that far. Now, this being a survival game with a story, we'll see how far the story goes. And then we'll let the game dictate how long this series is. So, because I don't know this game in its entirety, I don't know how long this is going to be, but we'll see. Oh, great. Our cutter is broken. Guess we're going to have to build another one. I think you can repair items that are broken. Maybe I'll try that next time. There we go. Okay, we are encrimbered again. Gee whiz, man. All right, off to the races. I hate passing up coconuts, but we're full. Is that going to encrimber me? Damn it. It is. We've got five coconuts. Let's drop one. We're doing good. And like the, uh, the note said, there's a lot of cool places on this map. A lot of puzzles to solve. So we'll be stopping off and doing that. Oh, great. I'm getting sunburn. And I don't know how to protect from that other than get in the shade. Okay, as you can see in the top left, when we're in the sun, it shows the sun. Ooh. Chamomile flowers. We're going to have some tea later. Made it to our first archaeological... Archae, archaeological... Archaeological? I, I cannot speak today. This is our first site. Check this out. Ooh. So this is cool. When death had taken the last of the high ones, the great hunt ended. But the families and the loved ones of the high ones were gifted longevity. But the families and the loved ones of highest ones who were gifted longevity faced an even worse fate than death in battle. The day after the end of the hunt, all the gifted ones were brought to a high cliff above the deep sea on the island of the birds. One by one, the gifted were brought to a cliff and fed the position of a swamp frog, which immobilized them. And those who drank were thrown paralyzed to the bottom of the sea to drown. At the end of that day, there were no gifted left alive and their bones rest at the bottom of the sea. The race of immortals was destroyed forever, and only mortals dying of disease remained on the island. 
How stupid does that sound? And then you go up here. And you'll see exactly what they're talking about. This is fantastic. Shouldn't have drank the frog. Where's that frog potion? Piece of a native map. Look at that, sir. Oh, shit. I fell off this last time. But yeah, there's all the dead bodies down there. I actually think there's something down there. So let's go. Oh, yep. Living water. Look at this, man. Poor bastards. That's a lot of frog water juice. Shouldn't have drank it, dog. I wouldn't have. If they were immortal, how did the frog water mess them up? Nothing makes sense. The story is too young. And we grabbed a piece of a map. I don't know if there's like a puzzle up here or something. I don't know. But you can see right here. The guy with the spear told the guy in the green to light a fire and then to force the guy to take frog uh, water from the Ninja Turtle. And then the guy with the spear said, you better drink the frog water, immortal, because it tastes delicious. And if you don't drink it, I'm going to poke you in the belly. Him and his friends teamed up, and then his other friend, uh, the half-breed Ninja Turtle, threatened him with an arrow. So he drank it. And then uh, Raphael and uh, Michelangelo, Roundhouse kicked him off the top, and he was paralyzed, so he drowned at the bottom where you see the skulls. That's the story. I'm sticking to it. You can get poisoned in this game. You can get sunburned. There's so many ways to die. It's stupid. Now, because we're not sleeping and crafting and doing all that stuff, the game kind of slows down, and you can take your time and explore. It's only when you're crafting and sleeping and... All that stuff that the sun just shoots down over the horizon in like 30 seconds. Plenty of resources out here, though. One thing about this game that I cannot stand is the stamina. The stamina is god-awful, but there is a level-up system as well. So you do get stronger, faster, smarter. The game gets easier as it goes on. Okay, let's grab a simple bed. There we go. We need five leaves, damn it. I thought we had five leaves. Easy enough. Okay. Let's get her built. Now, let's sleep. Yes, sir. And we didn't take a hit on our food or drink at all, really. That's good to know. Okay, we're getting pretty close. There's another ruin up here. And there's another tree. We've got to remember to uh, get rope. Where's those other trees at? Guarantee you there's snakes up here. There always is. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, we need more rope. What is that? There's something in these trees. I've never seen this before. Yeah, you better shut up. I've got a spear. I'm not playing with you. I don't know what the hell I just picked up, but we need more rope. Got to find one of those trees. Okay, so we need one palm. Oh, we already have some. Okay, so we need one palm. Shit. Okay, let's go get one. Damn, there's no palm trees over here. All right, let's build some rope. Yes, sir. And let's scout this area. There's a snake right on top of that rock. I knew there would be. And I think we've got another coal. There we go. Yeah! I would not climb up this in real life. There is no way in hell. And how the hell did he put that up in the branch? That's what I want to know. Okay, here we are. Stop jumping, sir. You're going to fall. 
Let's map it. Yes, sir. See that? We're on opposite ends of the island. So this map is pretty damn big. Pretty ginormous. Okay, let's get to the ruin. Shut up. Shut up. Bro, there's no way in hell. Ooh, sticks. It's one of those stick trees. Let's get a bunch. There's no way in hell. I would want to live on an island with angry squirrels. I'd rather have lions. Squirrels scare me when they're angry. Whoa, whoa, hey man, back the hell up. Don't you come at me, dog. We got to stay away from that nest. Okay, so in this ruin, and there's snakes here too, so we got to be careful. There's one right there guarding the entrance. It's all right. Give me a second. Let me catch my breath. You hold still, buddy. Yeah. Give me that. See that bird flying around? That thing will attack us if we're not careful. Another snake. Shut up! Oh, God. No! Shit, you son of a... Grabbing this. Living water. Nope. We're okay. We're okay. Took a little bit of damage, but it's Gucci, man. Do we not have... Yes, we do. Okay. Got another rattlesnake tail. All right. In here, we have a bunch of missing pieces to this riddle. We've already found one. There's another one. There's another one. There's some obsidian stone. I don't know what that's used for, but we'll pick it up anyway. And then I think there's one more on the outside. There's another one. That might be it. No, nah, there's one more somewhere. It's got to be. Hmm. Let's look for it. I think it's down here. I think we're in Crimbered. No, it's definitely not down there. Ooh, yes, rope. Take that and that. I'm too fat. I can't jump. What the hell is that? Sage seed? What? I'm going to have to drop some of these coconuts. There we go. Now we can run. Okay, so there's one more piece. And I think I remember finding it down. Shit! Yep, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. I broke my ankles. I forgot that when you jump, you can't kind of like go inwards. So be careful where you jump. Learn from me, okay? There it is. I see it. Oh, man. It's right next to that nest. I think this is a graveyard or something. All right, we got to be careful, dog. Okay, stop running. Gain your stamina. We're going to go in and we're going to bail the hell out. Come on, stamina. Got it. Running. Stupid birds. Fuck, bitch. Okay. We made it. There we go. What the hell? That was four, wasn't it? Are we missing another piece? We're missing another piece, ladies and gentlemen. So there were five pieces. I thought there were four. Strength went up. Good. Shit. Okay. I think it's down here, maybe. Aha! Is that it? Yeah! I was right. You tried to tell me I was wrong. Shame on you. Here we go. <laughs> Song of the Fountain. 
and the great four returned, young and fresh, as it, <laughs> as if just a few days passed since they sailed off, rather than decades. And they brought happy news to the tribes. The large island of Bimim, Bimini, hidden beyond the fog of the belts, its reefs and currents. The island was teeming with fruit, wild animals, and plants that were rare on the islands. But the true treasure of Bamini was the miraculous fountain found by the great four in the heart of the island. The fountain's water cured any disease and healed any wounds, but even that was not its greatest miracle. Those who drank from the fountain stopped aging for many years, staying young as if time held no power over them. Excellent. And as you can see, you had the four babies telling the, the adult to get a drink of water. And then he drank the water, which was the splooge of life. And then he was enlightened. And then he beat up all the enlightened. Never mind. Let's, let's not go there. All right, moving on. Now it says reach the location near the bay. Now we're looking for the spyglass, which I believe is down this way. And this is as far as we got which took us 10 hours in the live stream to accomplish. All right, let's be careful. We don't want to turn our ankles into canty canes. with chicken. All right. Whoa, don't touch that. Yeah, don't run into those. Okay, so if we look at the map, as you can see, we are looking for... Let's go to the journal. Spyglass, let's view... Right there, you can kind of see the bay right here. We hit escape. The bay's right there. So we need to look on this side of the rock. No way, dude. I tried to catch a chicken for so long in the live stream, and we finally got one. Leave that later. I feel faster. Maybe we leveled up. Okay. Spyglass. Spyglass. Where is the spyglass? It says step reach the uh, something near the bay. So we, we're, we're close. It's somewhere in this area. I see it. <laughs> there you are. All right. Now, this is as far as I got. We're going to move a little bit further. We're going to try to get to the mountain. I don't know where the hell that is. They said something about there being a white mark on the map. But if you look at the map, tis not there. I don't even know where the hell I am on the map. There I am. So we might have to climb another tree. We've already done that tree. We're going to have to go way the hell out here. Let's do it. Okay, so we're back up in this tree. I thought maybe we could get a different angle, but yeah, here's the interesting site that we need to go to. They said we're back up in the damn tree. It looks like the sun's going down, so we might have to sleep before venturing up. I didn't see that on the map before, and I don't know how the hell to get up there. Stay away from me, sir. I'm dangerous. God, those things are everywhere. Yeah, sun's going down. We're going to have to keep looking at the map. Need to go this way. Stay away from me, sir. We had to sleep because it got dark. And if we're looking at the map, that spot is right up here. I thought it was up in the mountain because it says mountain. I didn't go in the mountain, but I kept like walking in circles like, wait a minute. Where is this? Yeah, it's up here. So that's where we use our spyglass. I was thinking we needed to go up there or some shit. Anyway. We're here now. Let's check the map. Yep. This is the spot. And if that bird comes down, I'm going to poke it. Here it is, right here. Okay, now. Yeah, come on.
This is the white spot it spoke about. What does C do? Oh. Cool. I don't know that we can just bust out our spyglass and get to looking. Let's go to journal. Get to the mountain. There has to be a passage up the mountain. Somehow the natives were able to reach very high points here. So maybe that is it. I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Yeah, come on. Yeah, that's right. Come at me again. Do you know who I am? The survival king. Even though I don't know where the hell I'm going. Okay, so that's the next mission, I guess. And uh, this definitely wasn't where we needed to be. I don't know why. It's very strange. Because, I mean, we can see from right here, and we're pretty close. They talk about high up in the mountain. Is there another big tree? There is. And there's peaks over there. Sort of. And what I'm seeing, I think, is another ruin. Maybe that's where we need to get. Let's try it. I'm going to swim across this bay. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but we're not very smart. That's how you survive out in the wilderness. You do stupid shit. Oh God, I really hope there's like not like jellyfishes or sharks. That would suck. Wow. Look at this beautiful area. Crazy. Okay, so we're on top of these peaks. We're going to go over to those ruins over there. See what we can see. What is that? I don't even want to know. Okay, so the music is changing. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't like that. We must be getting close to something. Is there a tree? There's a tree way out there. Those mountains have high peaks, and I'm seeing something shiny up there. No way. I hope that's not where we need to be. If so, we were going the right way. Oh, well. We need to discover everything anyway. So let's check over here at this ruin. And then I guess we'll go way the hell up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is that? Is that a wolf? That is a wolf. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're in deep shit. We are in deep, deep shit. We're being barked at. I don't think I want to explore over here just yet. There was a wolf running at me. Okay, we're going in the mountain, damn it. I'm running. I think I'm being followed. Okay, yeah, away we go. Okay, we made it to the mountain. I am hearing a lot of strange sounds. Like pigs... And something else I can't identify. There's another pig. Hope it's not running at me. There's another snake. How the hell did we get up there? Oh, man, this sucks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a wild boar. That's not a little baby piggy. 
My heart. My poor heart. Just did a backflip in my chest. Okay, looks like a trail right here. Could lead up the mountain. Hope that damn bird doesn't try to get me. Okay, stay away from those. Yeah, okay. I see what's going on here. You can't run into those. Climb to the white sign. So this was the way. Gotcha. All right. Fun adventure times. Puffball mushrooms. I still don't know what those do. I'm also going to need help down in the comments section if you've ever played this game. Need some pointers. You guys uh, do a very good job at helping me with games. You know I don't like to do research on them. So, let me know. I read all the comments. Every single one of them. And if you could, hook me up with a like. You don't have to. You're free-range humans. But man, does it help the videos out a lot. I appreciate it, man. I love you all. How the hell do we get past this? What the hell are we supposed to do with this? Harvest it all? Like this is not this is not healthy. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, we we made it. Whoa. Hey man. Uh-uh. You ain't supposed to be up here. Okay, Song of the Great Thirst. Miraculous was the water of the fountain, gained by the four tribes, but the fountain was not infinite. Dozens of stormbreakers were going back and forth to Bamini, but there was not enough water for everyone who desired it. And each boat returning from the island was greeted by hundreds of stretched hands. Oh, no, that's not good. And many of those who desired the potion were worthy of it, but could not get even one sip. And when one person took the potion, a dozen more asked, why not me? And when one person prolonged his youth, a dozen more asked, again, why not me? And the elders saw that seeds of discord, discord were being sown and that trouble awaits if there is so much envy in the hearts of men. Wow. Well, this is pretty damn cool. I like this game so far. Raw clay pot. Okay. We're in Crimbered. We need to eat anyway. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's craft some more of these. Okay. It looks like we have eat all of our coconuts. We ate our plantaloonies. All right. The path goes on. Ooh, living water. Hey, you stay the hell back. I think that's living water. No, that was buffalo potion. I don't know what the hell that is. So they ran out of water. There's some more of that, but I can't carry it. Need to offload some of this stuff, man. I am fat. I can barely make it up this damn hill. Man, this is cool. So they made like villages and and uh, ruins. Well, they didn't make the ruins. Temples up in the mountains. I've seen some crazy stuff online about tribes and mountains and stuff. It, it just it blows me away. Okay, sir, you're going to have to stop that right now, or you're going to get the stick. How'd that feel? You shouldn't have done that. I tried to warn you. You did not listen. And now we're even more encrimbered. Tell you what. It's easy to get worms. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Let's eat a puffball mushroom. See what happens. Oh. Okay. It gives us a little bit. I'm sick. Yeah, that's fantastic. I knew it. 
You've gained disease status as a result of external influences. There are several types of diseases. Yeah, I can tell. Golly. Medicine helps prevent diseases and keep it from progressing. Sleep and some types of food can also help. Keep an eye on your status in the top left corner of the screen to avoid getting serious illness. Fantastic. We got level one food poisoning. Is there anything we got to take care of that? I guess you got to cook those mushrooms. And we've got dates. That'll help, right? Dates are delicious. What is a buffalo potion? Stomach ache disappeared. Sunburn disappeared. Oh, yeah. We cured it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buffalo potion. Appreciate it. We still haven't reached our destination. I don't even feel like we're going the right damn way. There's a little... Boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Little bridge right there. The hell is this? Dragon fruit. There are snakes all over the damn place. And I'm still in Crimbered. I think the path continues this way, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, shit. Almost fell. I'm going to eat my dragon fruit. Pitaya. A pitaya. Ruh. That was delicious. Yeah, I don't think this is the way. But we'll explore anyway. Oh. Yeah, no, this definitely ain't the way. Bird burst. You better stay the hell away from me. I think we're supposed to go up that way. I see a log, but I think that's how we came in. There's so many damn snakes down here. It's not safe. Oh, shit. Stop it. Stop that. Okay, there's a path that continues this way. What an adventure. Reminds me of Kroll. My favorite movie. My favorite adventure movie. That and Willow. All right, let's take care of business. You dirty son of a bitch. It looks like we're going to have to craft a spear now. 38 minutes later. Now we've got two spears. Hey, hold still. All right, let's get through here. Get my spear back. Come on, thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't know what all this shit is. I'm just picking it up. Okay, man, I can't stand this dog. I, I hate dropping food. Why do I need a damn shell? Or scorpions. There's plenty of scorpions in the caves. Got 21 sticks. 15 should be enough. Level 3 strength, baby. We're strong. Ooh, scorpions. Speaking of which. Good night, sir. Buffalo juice. If you're sick or in the pinch, just grab you some buffalo juice. Hold still there, buddy. Stop it. Stop moving. Are they trying to flee from me, or what the hell are they doing? I think we go this way. Did we come in this way? I don't know. Bro, this place is weird. You fucking... Why would you... Why, 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 why would you put a snake right there? Why? That was so damn dirty. It's all right. I got some snake juice. Dog. What? Did we... Bro, did we go in a circle? We went in a damn circle. All right. Let's drink our juice.
We don't. Do we have an axe? We can cut that down, can't we? Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, just just go through, dog. And of course you missed. You're stupid. This is not on me, by the way. I'm a I'm a great spear thrower, one of the best that's ever done it. Ah, uh -huh, there it is. You guys have to be dealt with. See what I'm saying? When it flies straight, you can't stop me. Okay, we're not picking up anything else. You, sir, better shut the hell up. No, oh my god! Sir, fuck, just go get it like that! Manually! We're still exploring these mountains, man. It is a maze up here. We got to be careful. I think we found our way up, though. Ooh, what is this? I swear. I am so sick of these evil damn squirrels. See, now they're getting they're now they're getting smart on me. You ain't getting away. Now they're evading me. Where'd my spirits go? There it is. Mr. Snakey. Bring me a dream. You're dead, so you dream forever now. Oh, another one. Oh, another one, dude. This place is guarded. Where are you at? There you are. What are you going to do but sit there and do nothing? Level two throwing. Now maybe we can throw straight. God, man, these mountains are crazy. I want to check out that bamboo over there too. Let's let's do that. I think it's bamboo. I don't even know if we can interact with it. Yes, we can. It says insufficient tool durability. I don't know how that's a thing. We've got a new axe. There we go. We had to switch. Okay, so we got some new blueprints for that. I think the sun's finally coming up. God, dude, we have been so incriminated. It's embarrassing. I'm dropping those stupid rocks. Like, we're still incriminated. I want to keep that pot... I guess that spear can go. You know what? No, because we're going to have to fix that later. And I've dropped some eggs. Oh, well. I just don't know why we can't run fast. We've been climbing these mountains all night long. Like this. This is nuts. Like, oh, it's pretty obvious and easy. You see up there on the mountain? Yeah, I see it. Getting to it is another story. Thank God the sun's coming up. Golly, man. There we go. Now we can run. It is so aggravating. Getting encrimberlated. Oh, we're going to continue to run through these damn mountains and try to find what we're looking for till we find it. There's a section over there. We have to kind of go down to get up it. That's where we were. Okay, so we went the right way. We're going the right way. We have to be. Really, dude? Hold still. His cousins told his cousins about who I am. That's what I thought. I have upgraded my spear throwing capabilities. 
Another cave? Golly! And now we're kind of like going down, so I don't know if this is the right way. Oh. Oh, what is that? Improved torch. I will take that. Dead Spaniard's map. A map with blurred inscription in Spanish. The site of some kind of camp is marked here. It looks like the Spaniards were already here long before us. Them damn Spaniards, man. Okay, so we've got something to look. This is kind of in the area we were before. Where we started. Interesting. Fuck those mushrooms. I am not picking up any more of those mushrooms. I'm very impressed by this game. It's been out for a while. What's that? Another piece of a native map. Yeah, this game's been out for a while. I think like a year. But it was in early access. I think it is still in early access, but I'm not sure. Is this what we were looking for? Climb to the white sign. This has to be it, dude. Yes! Go to the edge of the platform at the appropriate time. What? Whoa, dude. He's throwing ninja stars. <laughs> Song of the Birds. Of the four tribes, the tribe of the birds was the wisest. They spoke to the winds and read the stars like letters and knew their names. They knew the secrets of storms and the depths of the seas, of, of tides and currents, rainy seasons and moon cycles. And they did not keep the knowledge to themselves, but always shared it with others. And for this, they earned great respect from every tribe. For there was no safer path to the sea than the one shown by the wise men from the tribe of birds. Cool. This is, this is cool, man. I love this. Bird potion. Made from guano. Excuse me, Mr. Scorpion Man. What the hell is this? Okay, so I saw one of these down below. Ancient observatory drawings. This collection of buildings resembles an ancient observatory. It looks like the astrologer watched the sky from different locations and marked the coordinates of stars using the observation arches located on the island. Location Island of Hope. Okay. So, let's see. There's a bird, there's a snake, and there's a fish. All right. So... Here is the observatory. Ha ha. Goal. View from the mountains. What? At the perfect time of day. Okay. Interesting. Sort of. Whoa, dude. What the hell? New goal. Lonely rock. Lonely Rock. Okay. The hell is Lonely Rock? Build Dock Optional. Build Sea Vessel. L. Or J. Lonely Rock. While using Ponce de Leon's spyglass, I noticed a large rock a few miles to the north. I can't get there by swimming. I should build a primitive vessel and try to sail to the rock. Perhaps I will see nearby islands from this rock. There may be other survivors on those islands. Build a sea vessel. I have to find the right resources to build a vessel to sail to that rock. Crafting vessels category. Build dock. Optional. I can build a dock for my vessel. It will allow me to moor my vessel and use the fast travel option to come back to the dock. Okay. All right. Interesting. Nice. Is it cloudy or is it getting dark, man? The weather always throws me off. So there's Lonely Rock way the hell out there. And uh, this is where we're going to end this video. Man, what an exciting game. I'm really glad I didn't play this early on because I think I'm not 100% sure that this is now fully released. So we get to see it in its entirety. Uh, you know, comment below. Help me out, whatever you got. 
And uh, hitting the like button really helps. But you don't have to, and you don't have to subscribe or do any of that mess. You're free-range humans. You can do whatever you want, but it does help. Thank you guys so much for making it this far. If you want to support the channel, check out the Madagascar Discord. It's down in the description. It has three tiers of support, and you can talk to me whenever you want, and a bunch of other benefits as well. Join the Mad Army Discord, which is free. You don't have to do anything about that or, you know, pay a subscription for that. It's free, and you can talk to the community as a whole. Check out the merch in the lower thirds. I live stream on Twitch on the weekends. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.